Hey folks, Fred Horton here. Welcome to Evernote Hands-On Training. Before we get started with the course, I want to start with why. Why Evernote? What tools does Evernote have? What benefits does it have that can help us solve real-world problems in our daily life? If you're like most people, you're multitasking all day long, running from responsibility to responsibility, using multiple devices to keep your life straight. Juggling all the information you need to be effective both at home and work is difficult. It's even more difficult when you're trying to maintain some sense of balance between your personal and professional life. So how do you find time for your own ideas? How do you make sure you don't miss that elusive flash of insight? Honestly, it's hard to find time to think and just be alone with your thoughts, particularly since they come at the most inopportune times and the craziest of places. And when a good idea does cross your mind, what tools do you use to capture that idea? Sticky notes are good in a pinch. Three by five cards, napkins, and anything else you can find to write on. The problem is keeping track of all those sticky notes and scraps of paper. Now, if you work by yourself, you may have come up with a system that works for you. But what if you're part of a team and have to collaborate with others and brainstorm and share ideas? It's hard to collaborate and share ideas when you're working with sticky notes and hanging shards of paper. How do you make sure everybody has the same sticky notes? And what if somebody loses a sticky note? What if you work on a team that collaborates remotely? Do you send everything across country? This is just not a good idea, and it's definitely not one that scales very well. The truth is, we don't know which ideas are going to turn into good ideas. Much less do we know when we're going to have an aha moment. More importantly, we don't know what the source of that aha moment's going to be. Could be something we're reading, something we're watching or listening to. It could be a picture. It could be something that somebody says when we're just hanging out with our friends. The point is, you have to be ready to capture an idea wherever you are, on whatever device you have with you, in whatever form that idea takes. Now, we may not know when or where our next great idea is going to come from, but one thing we do know we're going to get zero benefit out of the idea we can't remember. So we need to make sure that we choose a tool that enhances our ability to remember rather than hinders. So doesn't it make sense to pick a tool that's easy to learn, easy to use, and was in fact designed to help us remember everything? A tool that's cross-platform, that works on the Mac and PCs, that works on all our devices, including our mobile devices. A tool that allows us to upload all of our ideas, no matter where we are, on any device that we happen to have. That synchronizes all of our ideas on all our devices so that we have them accessible to us wherever we are, whenever we need them, whatever device we happen to have with us. Evernote is such a tool. It's easy to use, easy to learn, and it will bring a little bit of sanity back to your life, particularly in the area of organizing all of your ideas and information. So that's why Evernote, but why this course? For the past 25 years, I've been an educator and a technology trainer. And one of the lessons that I've learned is that students learn skills best by doing. It's very hard to actually learn a skill by just listening to and watching a video. As great as videos are for demonstrating technology, unless you have built-in activities that allow students to practice what they're learning, they're not going to walk away with a skill. They may walk away with the intellectual understanding of that software. Everything may have made sense, but as they walk away from the course and they don't actually practice the software, at a later time when they try to pick it up, it just doesn't work out the way they wanted. So that's why this course is called Evernote Hands-On Training. It's a hands-on course, project-based. You're going to learn by doing, and you're going to learn in context so that all the different features that you're going to be introduced to will make sense in the context in which they're supposed to be used. So that's a little bit about this course, the philosophy and approach that I'm going to take. And let's take a look at some of the skills you're going to learn. 
So here's an overview of the skills that we're going to cover in the course. And basically, they fall into three categories. First of all, notes. We're going to talk about how to create notes, all the different ways that you can combine various types of media, whether text, pictures, audio, all into one note. We'll look at how to organize your notes into notebooks, how to create notebooks, how to set up your default notebook. We'll learn how to share notebooks. And then finally, we'll look at how to share and collaborate with your notes and information, how you can make notes and notebooks available to your family, friends, or other colleagues that you're working with, and how to do so in a safe and secure way. So that's a basic overview of the course and the skills that you're going to learn. So we have a lot to do, and I will see you in the next video.